So I'm taking this old banjo that I got at a garage sale for $5. It's um, homemade, I think. Or maybe from some sort of kit or I don't know, something. But this is how it is. And it's, it cracks. But I thought it looked pretty cool and it's definitely old. So what I've done is on the internet I found a banjo advertisement and cut it out and we made a cardboard insert. On the other side, I took from an old newspaper, I took this cool piece to the back side. It's not in great shape, but it sure looks cool. Fly toe knots. So this is my project. And put the insert in. Now the thing that I'm unhappy with is how bright the cover is. I actually did a laser print of one I found on the internet. Sam covered it with glue, and glue ages pretty good. So I need my goal here is to make this not look like I just did it today. It kind of match the rest of the guitar. So that's my next step. First step is going to be to uh, take some sandpaper and scuff up the the glue. We're not stepping up the image, just the layer of glue that comes it on top. Um, give it some scratches. This is 220 grit. I'm gonna scratch it up and then I'm gonna fill those scratches and holes and try and stain this up to make it look old. Okay, it looks much better. It's a dirty, scratched. The image is all still really protected good. It's just the blue layer that's aged. Now it's that bright white, so we're gonna figure out how we're gonna darken this. I think I got an idea. I'm gonna put some cigarette ashes on top and we're gonna see how well this works. Definitely helping get it away from the shine and the new look. Right, next. Okay, we're gonna see if I can use the heat gun, like this hair dryer in this case. And we're going to see if it will darken and age it. Okay, I don't think that the hair dryer puts out enough heat. I'm gonna just try my heat regular heat gun. Okay, I think I'm just going to try the old coffee grounds trick. So here's this morning's coffee, here's this, and we're just going to see what happens. Well, the coffee inside the pod was drier than I had expected, but I spread it all over and spread it around, and by George, it looks okay. Yeah, it definitely weathered it, but the whole thing is still a little shiny from the glue. And should have sanded it with some, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some 80 grit to this and put some real scratches into it. Well, even though the back is old anyway, I think I'm gonna, but it's just from a nice, such a nice magazine, I think we need to age it up a little bit to at least try and match the guitar as well. Or the, match the banjo. Well, that's a little better. his hats are awesome okay project done it turned out pretty good I went from this old guitar frame homemade or something and made this insert and it's champion ban banjos of America Fairbanks and Cole Side. Okay. It's the perfect thing to hang on the wall, I think. It looks pretty good. Look at these guys. So 
stove project done. I think I can get eighty, hundred dollars for this from a five dollar investment. A little bit of work and a cool thing. Thanks. So in hindsight, really, where could I have done better? I should have created the damages and some of the discoloring and whatnot you know, on the computer before I printed this and give it a sepia look or whatever, something to try and match the real newspaper on the back for coloring and age. Or I should have just chose a different image from an actual turn of the century newspaper or something, but I just didn't have anything really that was working. I wanted that banjo related just because make it a cool advertising piece. So, I don't know, I grade myself a, a B, maybe a B plus on this, but it could have been, it definitely could have been better. Next.